back, everyone. So while the Thanksgiving table is a great opportunity to bring people together for a meal, you know, this isn't comfortable for everybody. There are going to be some conversations that you might want to exit. Some people might even get upset. So to help you avoid conflict and hopefully keep the peace, Dr. Tracy Packiam Alloway joins us. And it's so funny, one of our, um, our, our, our EP like in the morning was like, we have to do this story. <laughs> this is so important because, mm -hmm. you know, you think everything's going to be fun and games, but that's not always the case. It's true. And while it's wonderful to be around family, it can also be a very stressful occasion. Mm -hmm. And so one tip is just to know your own have insight into your own body language right. when you feel you're adopting more distancing body language so you notice you cross your arms right. you know, is your face turning into a look of contempt so yep. we do know from research that contempt is one of the first signs where we're creating distance between the person so you start you know as you're, you're kind of getting a little tight exactly. your shoulders are going like this exactly you're like if they say one more thing <laughs> exactly you know all the signs yeah. so just be mindful of that in your own physical space and then be intentional about doing the opposite so if they're seated join them on on a chair on a couch next to them so you're on the same level oh. as them so it, get closer uh, well you don't have to sit closely to okay. them but it just creates a sense of equality that hey oh. we're on the same level you know I'm not gonna stand and kind of talk while no, you're that's interesting seated. someone we talked about that like standing over people yes. how it makes them feel mm -hmm. and sometimes that makes people feel a little more defensive it does is, is that maybe an opportunity to walk away to like if you feel <laughs> you're you know just to take a minute take a pause for it yourself. can and that's the second point here psychologists actually call it the magic pause and it's this idea of five seconds where you don't have to respond right away so sometimes in these moments of conflict we feel we have to jump in we have to defend ourselves we need to be validated and it can actually create an increased level of conflict yeah. so take take that step back count to five in your head and I say use a physical reminder because it's so hard to remember in that moment so maybe touch your watch if you wear a watch all the time you know if you wear a piece of jewelry on your ears or your neck just do that for five seconds something like physical. maybe just physical mm -hmm. for five seconds to mm -hmm. give you and it feels that feels a little interesting you know like when you have silence when mm -hmm. you're talking to someone it feels a little uncomfortable and five seconds can feel like five minutes it can yeah. it certainly can and that's why doing something can help distract you a little bit too I love that <laughs> I love that idea because it also allows you to calm down mm -hmm. it maybe even forces the other person to reflect about how they're going to proceed next and like yes. that can really take the heat out of something it can yeah and another uh, another thing that I say to my clients too is have a script know exactly you know you you can anticipate what family members are maybe going to get you going a little bit more than others so have a script maybe a script is very simple which is thanks for sharing your perspective or you know, I know we don't agree. That's okay. Right. Let's enjoy the, the the turkey or something. So keep that script really simple. Stick to it and just kind of practice it ahead of time too. So in that moment, you're not trying to use all that cognitive energy, trying to think of what to say to diffuse. You the say situation. that about a lot of things. You know, <laughs> even when you don't want to do something and you find yourself always getting caught up in something, to have a script. Yes. You know, what are you going to say? Prepare. And mm -hmm. my my other thing, and I'm curious what you think about this, but you know, I have to prepare for what is going to happen. You know, a lot of times we're like oh this is gonna be different it's sure. gonna be better this year but it probably isn't it isn't so lower yeah. that expectation <laughs> you know and well, know what you're getting yourself into I think having that sense of anxiety or concern is a, is a positive sign it's your right. brain telling you hey this has happened before mm -hmm. but instead of letting that anxiety sit inside of you and creating a sense of negative emotion prepare use it as an opportunity to say hey you know this uncle this aunt, this cousin we always get in it yeah. What can I do? How can I walk away? What can I say to say, hey, let's not talk about it this year. Right. Uh, let's tell me how you've been. Keep it short, keep it simple, keep that script, something that you've already rehearsed so you feel it's automated in that moment. Have a plan, folks, because you know it's going to happen, but we hope everyone has a wonderful turkey day. Um, and watch what you drink, too, because sometimes that's a problem as well. Yes. All right, Tracy, thank you. We appreciate you. you coming in. Hopefully this will keep you calm, cool, and collected.